Hi Aquarius, welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing well. Um, I'm gonna go over a couple things while I pull your cards. One I'm gonna say here, uh, ooh, for this reading, um, it can be about any area of your life. It's not specific to love, though it can be about love. So take it how it resonates for you. Uh, if you really think about your thoughts, your feelings as the messages come through. These are messages from spirit and your angels, what they want you to know, okay? So uh, everything else is in the description box. You can now follow me on TikTok and Instagram. All of that info is below. So I'm going to pull here one card. This is from the... Archangel Power Tarot deck. We're pulling one card for the center of your energy, and then we're going to pull cards around uh, the energy around you, okay? So I also want to say thank you for all of your likes, your shares, subscribing to my channel. I do appreciate you and connecting with me here on my channel. So let's get the energy around you, Aquarius. Show Aquarius what they need to know. Energy around Aquarius. Right. If you've watched this reading before, um, I do pull three angel answer cards. This has yes and no. May answer a question that you have so you can ask it. If not, just take it as uh, angel guidance. So I've got one there, two, three. And then the last message uh, is a message from spirit and your ancestors. It is very detailed um, and these are very good messages. I get a lot of uh, good feedback, so stick it out to the last message if you can. All right, and uh, let's get started here. So uh, two cards here from the Goddess uh, Guidance Oracle deck. Okay, you have here Divine Passion. Be honest with yourself. What is your heart's true desire? Okay, so some of you may be really trying to figure out right what you feel passionate about in life or this is the guidance here some of you it can be about your life purpose some of you it could just be something fun for you to do something that you love to do you know maybe something that can give you um like an out right away from something that's hectic or you know just in life in general so this is really about being true and honest to yourself and really enjoying um, what you feel passionate about and it can be about you know a specific situation a person right maybe standing your ground about something here you're very passionate about you also have here the goddess of prosperity the universe is pouring its abundance onto you so be open to receiving what's beautiful here it's you can see this person, you know, they have their hands up in, in the air, almost like they're waiting for the divine here to um, send down some abundance, right? To receive that abundance. I could also say here too, maybe some of you are pursuing or are pursuing your life purpose here. Um, if that is the case, okay, whatever you are passionate about, it does feel like there's a lot of abundance. So some of you can't even be in love. Uh, or something else here in your life. So let's see what the tarot has to say here. Okay. Interesting, Aquarius. I just did uh, Scorpio's reading. Scorpio had the tower here in the same position. <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me, Aquarius. So with that, uh, let's start here. The center of your energy is the world, which is beautiful. Uh, very powerful energy and it's Archangel Michael. It says a very happy ending coming full circle Spiritual growth and insight. Okay, so this is the beginning of something either changing or happening in your world I'm going to say here too. This could be for some of you Maybe you're starting some sort of new endeavor something that you're very passionate about that's going to bring you a world of abundance for others, you know, this could be also, you know a relationship, love, um, or just change in you, a transformation here where you're starting to feel uh, more passionate about life just in general. So it's a really nice energy. You do have the tower card here. So I feel here it could be that energy where, you know, you have that epiphany and, um, you know, there is some sort of change within you, a transformation, because you do have the death card here. 
uh, talks about transformation. Could be dealing with the Scorpio as well. But I feel it's a situation, something is changing in your world and you're going to feel a whole lot more passionate about it. Now, it could have been out of some sort of tower moment that happened that kind of forced you to change things. It could be a relationship that, you know, ended um, or maybe a relationship is ending. Um, but whatever it is, it feels like an energy that you're going to be happy with whatever this change is. You're going to feel on top of the world. There's also protection here with Archangel Michael, so know that. Now you have the Hermit card here as well. So maybe you've already been thinking a lot about this situation. I'm going to say this could also be somebody around you um, who is getting ready here to message you. It may be some sort of message um, or something, you know, fortunate for you. Could be money-wise, right? When you start to see the financial um, results of a situation, right? Because it does tell you be open to receiving the universe is pouring its abundance. So this may be the start of that abundance, whatever that is for you, whether it's love, whether it has to do, um, you know, with a financial situation, maybe you're starting, you know, the first steps here of a new business or a new job, you know, or you get that message, right? Uh, that message of some sort of new job or extra money that's starting to come in for you. But, you know, I feel here too with the tower. It's a change that's happening in your world. As it says here, things are coming full circle. I think I'm going to clarify. Um, I think I'm going to clarify the tower. Why is the tower here, please? Why is the tower here please let's make sure i don't have my deck upside down no i don't i saw the page of wands on the bottom of the deck oh there it is page of wands uh could be again communication but it's also a passionate energy let's see what else we have ten of swords yeah we have oh look at that ace of pentacles Bottom of the deck, beautiful energy, Aquarius. There's a beginning of something here that is bringing you abundance here in your life. You're manifesting this. So I feel here, um, you got the Ten of Swords and you got the Death card here as well. So I feel like there's a situation that may have ended. It's bringing you a new beginning, all right? For some of you, this may be communication for somebody where there was uh, some sort of ending or hurtful situation, um, or there may have been something that happened that was very devastating to you that is causing this new beginning. But the thing about the divine intervention here, whatever came to an end, it wasn't working, right? And so it that cycle had to close out because it wasn't working. And now a new cycle is beginning for you. You have the page of wands. So some of you, this is about you, like I said, having that epiphany, becoming more passionate and motivated. There may be some sort of new uh, endeavor. Maybe you're going back to school, learning something, right? Um, you know, maybe you're doing some world travel. It's going to be different for all of you. And then you have the Ace of Pentacles. So there's either um, there's money involved or stability here around a relationship. Some of you could be, even be a new love coming into your life. All right. But there's definitely some sort of good news here. I'm just going to pull um, three cards on why. Why is the Page of Pentacles here, please? Why is the Page of Pentacles here, please? Emperor, Ten of Cups, wow. Judgment, okay, Eight of Wands, yeah. There's definitely um, an energy here of some of you may be starting a business or you may get that call for that job from an employer. The Emperor can be that boss energy. Uh, and I get here, some of you, this is a love situation, but there's definitely some sort of good news here that's coming your way. You have the Ten of Cups and you have the Judgment. I feel like you've got some good karma coming towards you here. I also get here, some of you, this could be somebody from your past as far as a relationship. Um, but I'm also, you know, for some of you, I'm also feeling here, this is could be a new person coming into your life, right? And you're making that decision here to be happy uh, is what I get. But all around here, uh, really nice energy. Some of you are starting a new business, 
Okay, some of you have are using, you know, your judgment call here from what you've learned from the past and starting some sort of new business that's bringing you and your family, uh, you know, a lot of happiness here. So, wow, beautiful energy here, Aquarius. Your world is definitely changing here significantly. Uh, I see a lot of abundance coming in for you. Look at that. Here's the tower again. Tower and the eight of wands. There's something unexpected here happening or happened that is causing this new beginning that's leading you to your abundance here. Let's see what uh, your, okay. So your first card you have here is wait, okay? Now it may be, like I said here, with the judgment card, you may have to make some sort of judgment call. Now it may be around a job offer. Uh, it may be around uh, someone reaching out to you. Okay, but there's some sort of clarity here so that you can feel good in your heart, right? Remember this says, be honest with yourself. What is your true heart's desire? And I feel like they're telling you, take the time to gain the clarity that you need to make that judgment call here. You also have here, uh, look for a sign. So your angels are telling you they're going to send you signs, right, to help you on this new path. And those signs can be in a lot of different forms. All right, but I usually see this one as, uh, you know, an external uh, form here. And, and I feel, you know, again, with the tower, the divine intervention, again, showing you here that there is divine intervention here and you are being guided. So it can be animals, uh, places, right? Things that stand out to you. And when uh, synchronicities of numbers, when that happens to you, just need to really listen to your thoughts and your feelings. And that's how they're going to send you the messages through the signs, okay? Because these are going to be signs that are important to you, all right? Like for me, I'll give you an example. My signs usually are hawks, are crows, uh, even hummingbirds. Uh, usually for me, they're they're there's something with wings, okay? Uh, some sort of animal with wings um, is usually my messages and feathers too. But you also have here remain positive, okay? And what they're saying here is you may not be able to see the, the abundance and what is coming to you, but they're saying stay positive because there is, you've got a lot of prosperity here in your reading and abundance for your future. So beautiful energy there for you, Aquarius. Now let's read your uh, message from spirit and your angels. Dearest Aquarius, um, spirit and your ancestors, I should say, uh, check in occasionally with yourself about your motives behind actions you plan on taking, especially when you have um, an end game in mind. Is the source of your motivation, desire, or entitlement? Maybe you're drawn to a certain path because you think it will bring you a feeling related to the outcome you seek, like safety or wholeness. Know that you will see a reflection in the outer world of the motive that drives you forward. Do you need a motive? Can you simply be pulled into the direction your soul calls you towards joy, discovery, growth, or adventure, participating in something compelling and meaningful without trying to define it? If you can step forward, surrender to whatever spirit has in store for you, you will be amazed at how things turn out. Check your motives, then hand them over to spirit. Everybody here wants the best for you. Life loves you more than you can know. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful energy. And another validation is you you may not be able to see it right now, but if you can surrender, uh, definitely it is coming. So Aquarius, I hope you enjoyed uh, your reading. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.